Mayor Sisolak uh, revealing last night another Clark County School District student died by suicide, the latest death since the start of the school year. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond shows us the rising concerns as the pandemic continues to affect more children and teenagers. It's really sad in an 11 year old child to see these kind of behaviors. Josh Curtis notices a difference with his oldest son, Braxton. He's at the point now where he just, he just doesn't care. A recent shift in behavior for the normally active sixth grader. He was in sports, he's in dance, he's a star student previously in accelerated classes, and now he's just not going to class and he just doesn't care. Curtis attributes the change to the pandemic and distance education. He was even telling his friends he's depressed every day. Any change of behavior is a warning sign. Health experts are seeing similar situations. It causes concern as suicides continue happening this school year. We had uh, before uh, um, deaths you know, involving suicide amongst our uh, Clark County School District uh, students. And so that's been very, very difficult. Dr. Sheldon Jacobs with the Southern Nevada chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness says there is a mental health crisis in our community. Along with suicides, psychiatric hospitalizations are also rising among children, a result of our current circumstances. Due to, you know, being more isolated, um, being away from friends, not being in school, you know, physically. We are seeing increasingly uh, more incidents of suicide attempts and completions from the from kids younger than 12. Curtis tells me he's talking with his son and even considering counseling. We're trying what we can and, you know, I'm not sure what, at this point we're kind of at a loss. But not giving up at trying to improve his son's mental health. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. The Nevada Coalition for Suicide Prevention says suicide is the leading cause of death for teenagers ages 12 to 19 in our state. We do have a list of mental health resources available for parents on our website for you at 8newsnow.com.